welcome to my March favourites. I've got quite a lot of favourites this month, so I'm going to just get right to them. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to do a kind of random favourites as well, because a lot of you have been asking me to do this, and I don't always feel like I've got enough to do a separate video, so I'm just going to do a beauty favourites and a non-beauty favourites all in one. So I'm going to start with the kind of body care products. And the first thing that I've been really loving this month is Heal Gel. And this is their body version. I've spoken about the face version and the eye version before. I love the eye version especially. And the body version is no exception. It's a lovely, lovely product. Great to take on holiday with you. I'm going on holiday in like six months, but I'm planning it already in my head. And um, it's a really lovely kind of moisturising gel, and that's what's nice about it. The fact that it's a gel rather than a cream, it's just a little bit unusual. It smells lovely, and it just leaves the skin feeling really moisturised, and you can just get dressed straight away afterwards. It doesn't leave any sticky residue, and it's just a really lovely kind of smoothing product. Then I've also got a bu bubble bath, well, a kind of milk bath, they call it, and this is the Jasmine and Rose one by Elmis. I am a little bit of a snob when it comes to bath products. I'm a huge, huge fan of the Aromatherapy Associates ones because I think they're so fragrant, and most products disappoint me because the fragrance isn't strong enough. This is really strong, really lovely. It's just got a very kind of subtle jasmine scent and I'm obsessed with all things jasmine it's one of my favorite scents and it's really really lovely and you only need this more than that I've had this for quite a while now and I haven't used too much of it so I really like this then I've got a couple of kind of facial skincare products. The first one is a serum, and this is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum. Now, I can't mention whether or not I feel like it's faded my pigmentation yet, because I've not been using it for that long. I've only been using it for about a month. And um, what I can comment on is the texture. It's got a really lovely, light texture, and it really smooths your skin out. And I've been feeling like when I wake up in the morning, my skin actually looks nice, and I don't kind of wake up and think, oh, <laughs> my skin it kind of smooths everything out in a way so I'm really enjoying using this and I will report back on whether or not it's helped fade any of my issues. Then also a kind of really unusual product. This is the Be Good Honey Propolis 2-in-1 Cream Cleanser. I was sent this and it's recently launched and I kind of wasn't expecting anything special from this to be honest because a lot of cream cleansers are just kind of very similar but this is lovely. I haven't had a cream cleanser that I've been impressed by as much as this since the Lizelle one. It's got a very thick texture and I like that. It's a dense, thick texture rather than just kind of like a nothingness cream. And you use a muslin cloth to tissue it off and it's just beautiful. I really, really like this. And I'd be interested to see what else this brand is doing because this is a really, really lovely product and it's kind of um, used... Um, they use kind of British bees to produce the honey in it and things like that and it's just a really lovely kind of different thing. If you want to try that out, I will put the info for that in the down bar for you. Then moving on to hair care, I have changed up my hair care. I'm currently, don't think I'm disgusting, on day four hair and I've decided that if I wash my hair less I feel like it just has got more body to it and it looks better. It doesn't feel that nice and my scalp feels a little bit weird but I'm going to kind of soldier through it because I feel like it just looks better, the curls kind of look better. So let me know what you think, if you think my hair kind of looks um, okay today for four day hair, I don't know. But I've been using a couple of products from the new John Frieda line and I will do a full review of this line as well. And this is the Frizzy's Nourishing Oil Elixir. I'm not a huge oil fan, I use just a tiny, tiny amount on my hair when it's wet to just kind of smooth any frizz. And then also I've been really liking the Frizzy's Unwind Curls Calming Cream. I won't talk about these too much as I said because I'm going to do a full review of the line with the shampoo and conditioner and everything but I like this as well. And then the kind of most outstanding product is the heat activated spray which is the Go Curlier 48 hour curl. And this is just like a nice spray that you spray if you diffuse your hair which I do and it really helps to kind of give the curls a little bit of oomph. Um, the problem is with my hair they don't like to keep that oomph but that's another matter. Then in terms of makeup, I've got quite a few things I've been loving this month. The first thing is a brush roll set, and this is from Crown Brushes. I'll put all the relevant info down below, but I've been using this for a while, and the reason I didn't mention it before was because I wanted to kind of use everything properly, and I wanted to wash them and see how they washed and that kind of thing before I could review them. But this is what it looks like. And they're kind of quite affordable brushes, really, really nice quality. This one is probably one of my favourites. I've been using this to apply my bronzer and it's just really nice because it's dense but it's not too big. 
Then the kind of classic foundation brush that comes with it, I haven't really used, or the stippling brush to be honest, but the contour brush is nice. I've been using this for blusher though. And then my favourite one is this little blending brush, and this is just really good to kind of get into the crease of your eye and really blend your eye makeup because it's kind of dense enough and it's got a little bit of stiffness to it. It's really, really nice, but it's a really lovely um, brush roll, especially if you're just starting out with makeup. So I will put the link for that down below and let me know if you want me to do a full review talking about it because I've also got a blusher palette um, from then that is really nice too so let me know if you want to see a full review of that then I'm going to start talking about the kind of makeup I've been using this month well actually staying on the brushes I'm just going to talk about one thing this is something that I feel like a lot of bloggers have talked about recently and I talked about it for a really long time and I kind of always just thought it was all the same and just used shampoo or whatever and I wasn't fussed and then I realized I had a couple of these little doctor Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap lying around my house. I had like three or four from different beauty boxes and things like that that were just lying around the house and I wasn't using them for anything. So I washed my brushes with them one day. Oh my God, the hype around this is totally justified. This is amazing, it gets them so clean. The amount of dirt that this brings out of your brush is disgusting and super satisfying all at the same time because this is amazing a little goes a long way because it's so liquidy and this is just fantastic it'll last you a really long time and i won't wash my brushes with anything else ever again now because of this because i think this is fantastic then in terms of foundation this month i have resorted back to my not shit glow can we just have like a moment to appreciate the perfection that is Nars Sheer Glow because I love foundation, it's kind of my favourite makeup product and I use so many all the time and I love a lot of the ones I'm using but nothing sits on the skin like this, nothing gives a coverage like this, nothing makes your skin look as skin like as this. This is just my favourite foundation and this is the shade Barcelona which is a teensy weensy bit too dark for me. If I fake tan then I can wear it. I'm kind of like in the middle of fake tan now but not at the darkest stage at the beginning. So I have to kind of work with it but I'm going to buy a lighter shade because it's just amazing. It is expensive but it's worth every penny because it's just beautiful and every time I put it on I feel like I've kind of rekindled like an old lover type of thing because it's just beautiful it sits on the skin so nicely and i haven't got a single bad word to say about it it lasts well it photographs beautifully and it's just an amazing amazing foundation love then i've got a couple of cheek products here and the first two are by envy makeup and this one is their cheeky stick and i love wearing kind of cream blushes in the springtime because i feel like they just add a really fresh pop of color this is in the shade Chili Tops, which is a really cute little name. And it's just kind of like a bright pink shade. It's very pigmented, so you need a small amount. I usually get it on my finger, put it on, and then kind of blend it out with my fingers or with this kind of stippling brush, that type of thing. Really, really pretty, and they're not expensive either. And then also the bronzer. This is their um, Clever Skin Tone. Oh, no, that's a description. This is in the shade Fair, sorry, but what is it called? It's just called a bronzer. So there we go. Um, but it's kind of like a three shade bronzer. So you've got the deeper shade, the bronzer shade, and the highlighter shade. I like to mix them all and apply them all over. And the packaging is really cute because it comes with a little mirror and kind of like a cute little brush in there. I like that. I think it's really sweet. And I would be interested to try more from that brand because I think that the products I have tried have been really, really nice. And then from the Clinique blushes that I talked about, I did kind of a first impressions video of what I was loving earlier but um, I haven't kind of had a chance to use everything yet because I try so much different makeup, but I have been really impressed by this blush and this is in the shade Berry Pop. It's just really, really pretty and the peachy shades are kind of more appropriate for summer, I think. I'm not ready to start wearing those just yet because it's not really that nice out there, but this is a great kind of in-between transition blush. Love that. And then also a huge, huge mention to the MUA palette, the Undressed palette. I bought this not expecting much just because I'm planning a beauty dupes video and I wanted to kind of make, um, try and see if it was a dupe for the Naked palette. It is and it's just fantastic. For £4 you can't fault this. I have worn nothing else on my eyes since I've got this palette and that says something for me because I change my makeup up all the time. I'm wearing these two today, the kind of olive green in the crease and the light one all over. They're just amazing for £4. I cannot believe how good this is. It's just fantastic and I am going to go and get some of the other ones that they do. So let me know in the um, comments what kind of ones you recommend and that kind of thing because I think they're just such good value for money and they're great. And then, um, kind of last beauty favourite, I should have mentioned this with the skincare really, 
the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream. I've been using this on my lips, a little bit on my feet because I've had really dry skin, sometimes on my cuticles. I just keep it by my bedside and apply it, but mostly I use it on the lips and I love it. I love the smell. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's just a really fantastic, fantastic product. And the fragrance of the month, I've been obsessed with fragrance this month. I've kind of become a bit of a perfume whore. It's really not good. Um, is this one, and this is C by Chloe. I've been wearing this all the time. It's so pretty and fresh and light and just perfect for spring and it lasts reasonably well on me and I think the bottle is adorable. So that's it for my beauty favourites and now I will get into my The first favourite of um, the month in terms of random favourites has been this necklace and this is my kind of Kerry necklace with my name on it. In case you're a new subscriber or if you just didn't know, my name is Avia and it is spelt like that. People always spell it wrong but... I don't mind um, and I just love this I've been wearing it so much and I want to just constantly have it on I know some people have kind of got a bit of a love-hate relationship with these and think they're a little bit tacky and I can see why but I just think this is so pretty and I really really like it I've been wearing it loads and this is what it looks like on I just think it's really really pretty so I've been loving that and I will link that down below then in terms of kind of candles which i'm gonna say are kind of a random favorite these two by kringle candles have been my ones that i've been burning the most this month this is pink grapefruit and this is baby dreams pink grapefruit i use in my bedroom and it's a really lovely kind of invigorating grapefruity scent it's beautiful and then baby dreams is just a very clean kind of almost like baby powder really type of scent very 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 nice and i like this because i like um I like burning candles all year, all year round, but I don't want anything that's too heavy during the kind of warmer months. So I want something that's kind of pretty and light, but not like really summery. In the, in the summer, I like sort of tropical scents, if that makes sense. I know I'm kind of like really over reading how a fragrance in your house should be, but anyway. Then I've also written down my kind of TV favourites because I always have them and I want to mention them in a video and then I forget. So number one, True Detectives. This is a series, um, I think it's an HBO series, and it is Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson, two actors who I think are amazing. And I mentioned uh, Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club last month, I believe. But it's kind of a program about two detectives that are working on a case in Louisiana, I think it is. And it's very dark and very deep and very intense, and it's very kind of, um, there's a lot of dialogue, and it's just fantastic I got it and I thought like I'll see I'll watch one episode I'll see if I like it I, I knew I was gonna like it but my boyfriend wasn't sure about it at first like if he'd like it we watched one episode and we were like should we watch another one and we watched it's only eight episodes in the season so we watched all eight episodes in three days it was just amazing like impeccable 10 out of 10 cannot fault it go and watch it go and watch it come back and tell me how much you love it because it is just fantastic then the second thing I watched this month was Frozen, and I know I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon with this, and I'm being the kind of YouTuber cliche by talking about this, but I really like animated films, and I watched this, and my boyfriend was like, he'd already seen it, and he said, you, you're going to love it, you're going to be obsessed with it, it's just right up your street, you're going to love it, and I was like, yeah, we'll see. And he was right because I loved it. I loved the songs in it. I'm walking around singing Let It Go all the time. And that Do You Want to Build a Snowman? I'm obsessed. And it's really embarrassing. But it's a really, really cute little film. It's really good. So Frozen. And then um, YouTuber of the month has been a new discovery. And her name is Totally... Totally Obsessed UK, I will link her channel down below, she's a UK based um, YouTuber obviously and she makes really lovely videos so I'll put her down below. And then the other random favourite has been Primark, I've been really really enjoying Primark lately and it's been dangerous because every time I go in there it seems like I'm incapable of spending between 50 to 60 pounds every time I go in there and I go in there a lot so it's kind of been bad and I just end up buying like bits and bobs and Things I don't even need, but they're just really on the ball at the moment. And then last but not least is a book. And I always buy cookbooks, like recipe books, and I really like them, but I don't ever really use them. Like, I'm not really a recipe type of person. I just like to look at them and get inspired and that kind of thing. But I really want to try some of the recipes that are in some of the ones I bought. And I bought in a car boot sale this one, and it was the Jamie Oliver, Jamie's Italy. I'm a huge kind of Italy fan anyway. 
and I kind of like to pretend in my imagination that I'm Italian. But it's just got some really lovely, lovely recipes. Like, where's the one that I think looks really, really good? I don't know. It's just got there, that. The kind of pesto pasta and that kind of thing. And it just looks lovely. They're really simple, easy recipes. And everything just looks delicious. And I really need to try and make some of these things like that, I think, I really, really would like, like pasta with aubergine. But, um, yeah, I paid like £1.50 for it, and it says on the back that it's £25. So that was a good car boot sale bargain. But I really, really love cookbooks, and I've been kind of going through this slowly and kind of marking recipes and that kind of thing that I want to try out. So that is it for my favourites this month. I'd love to know what your favourites are, beauty or non-beauty. And, um, yeah, in terms of TV as well, I've started watching The Following, which is with Kevin Bacon. Does anyone else feel like there's like a huge thing at the moment of TV actors going into, um, movie actors going into TV? It's just a bit odd. But um, yeah, the following is good, but it's not as good as True Detective. Honestly, True Detective is amazing. So yeah, if you take anything out of this video, it's go and watch True Detective. But I'm going to go now because this video is probably like 10,000 minutes long already. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up because that would make me very, very happy. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.